Okay, today is, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to. Today is July 8th, 2021. Um, this is a litter of 13, yes, I said 13 standard poodles. Um, they are pictured individually at the age of two weeks on my website, which is L-A-W-P-D-O-O-B-L-E, K, the number nine, manor, M-A-N-O-R.com. Or you can even find us under sheepadoodles.com. Okay, a little bit less to type, but it will bring up our website. All right, uh, anyhow, um, the reason I hesitate to do updated photos right now of this litter is because they are slime balls. And it's a combination of a couple of things. First of all, while their mom was still, while they were just nursing, their mom's cleaning habits, and I've had a couple of them like this, She'd wipe them, not real great, and then she'd slime it all over them. Um, from there, we went to eating uh, solid foods, and we like to swim in our mush. In addition to which, they are, well, there's a good one right there, and that's actually one of the girls I'm keeping. Um, slow to get uh, the potty box, going with the cut potty box, but we are working on that. There are a couple of them that have been witnessed using it, but when I come over here, I have to scrub their floor tw at least twice a day, if not more often. So um, anyway, I wanted to get this picture while we had our box nice and clean. Not all of the puppies have their collars on, so you can actually kind of identify them. Uh, I normally do that when I'm gonna do um, updated photos. Um, but anyway, I did change a few of them the other day. I didn't have my phone with me to check on the ones that didn't have collars. So right now, um, you can just kind of match them with gender, uh, which I will double check um, as we go through each puppy and uh, markings, because they all are, are they all are fairly distinct. Matter of fact, that's one of our beautiful brown and white tuxedos. Uh, she has a dark pink collar on her, and her brother, who's missing his collar, is the other brown and white tuxedo. Okay, there was a time. Oh, good grief, around 10 years ago, maybe even less, that many of us poodle breeders, when I was breeding poodles more frequently, would have killed for those markings. And I had a beautiful boy for years called Boaz, and he produced gorgeous standard poodles, and um, all, all, as well as sheep -a doodle for me, and is now very happily retired. I don't know who's happier, the people that have him, or Boaz, but I hope it's both. But I hear from Karen quite frequently, and it is sure a blessing. All right, and his son Ram was also uh, adopted out to a family that had adopted from us before. This is the other girl that we will be keeping. She's a silver Merle. I just happen to love the markings on her face. Looks like she might have a couple of little phantom markings on her above her eyes as well, which I discovered in one of our black and whites too, and I will show that to you in a little bit. I did not know that until just now, to be honest with you. So there's apparently phantom lines running through this. I just don't know how strong they are. Um, again, you can take a look at her face. That's not dirt. Those are actual phantom markings. Um, because her feet are white, we're not going to see it there. It's just in the face, and I believe that's the same with the one black and white we have. Again, I'm sorry they're so slimy. They did just finish their mush. And it looks like you've got some of it on your head, more than likely be from your, your siblings. This is our light pink, black and white tuxedo girl, non-merle. Um, and I am going to probably be ordering very soon the, um, we've had a little bit down on cash flow in between litters, but uh, I am probably going to be ordering very soon the um, tests for... Um, the non merles because I want to be sure they're not cryptic, okay? Uh, we don't want to take any chances on that, all right? This is our little girl. It is, she's also a silver merle. She is available, if unless, because uh, I should back up a little bit. Our brown, our only brown and white merle, which is a boy right there, okay? I didn't even assign a collar to him because he's the only one just like that. He is actually, um, excuse me, going to a lady who um, I've known pretty much of and kept in contact uh, with through fa Facebook um, and Julie, she's noted on the website, she bought a standard poodle from our very, very first litter back in 2008 out of Fanny and Bear, OK? 
okay? He has since gone over the Rainbow Bridge, but uh, this guy is going to hopefully fill a little bit of void that Hershey left behind um, in her life, and I hope he's going to be good for her. So, Julie, I hope you're enjoying seeing your boy moving around here. All right. Although they are tiny because of her, their mom, not really huge, and I'm shocked she had 13 puppies and all healthy, didn't even lose any. Praise God. Um, we had one boy, actually, I think it was you, <laughs> that we kind of nursed a little bit um, for the first couple of weeks before we featured them the first time. Uh, just because when there's smaller ones and bigger ones, there tends to be a little bit too much competition for milk. So we kept him going. Uh, he had a sister that likewise we wanted to do the same, but she was stubborn and uh, wouldn't take the milk very easily. And she's still thrived very well on mama's milk. And yeah, she's got a fat belly because she just ate. I think she's shorter coupled in her body, which is why she gets a fat tummy. Um, but uh, she, um, like I said, she's one of our smaller Merle girls and she's doing fine. This boy here is going to probably be our special adoption. We suspect special needs that I've been observing. Um, we will uh, finalize that determination, but I'm already talking with somebody uh, in the possibility of referral for adoption or um, uh, finding, you know, nonetheless, we're, we're going to be finding a home for him, okay? He will be a special adoption, so that's why he is now off the market. We have two confirmed deposits, plus our special adoption, plus the two that we know we're keeping, um, and so that takes us down to eight slots open for this litter. So, and it will be first come first serve based on deposits. Uh, the, um, list is noted there on their page on our website. It's under new litters, uh, up in the main menu. And then just, uh, to go to the drop down. I believe it's the third drop down under new litters. Okay. For the standard poodles. All right. This is our girl again, I believe with the, I can't believe those phantom markings. Good girl. Um, all right, and our other girl, she was going to the bathroom. That might be her kind of half asleep there. She's got more breaking in her pattern, which is what drew us to her, especially for our sheep -a doodle um, program, okay? And so here's my two girls together right now. Now, if I were to keep a solid one, which I would love to, this would be my choice. Come here. Yeah, you come here. <laughs> I mean, not solid one, but non-merle. But it turns out it's a boy. Now, I do have room in my program for one more boy, but I'm hesitant to add right now. I could change my mind. You never know. So, anyway, he is a beautiful black and white tuxedo. And he is a boy. All right. There's our special needs boy. He's our black collared boy. All right. Who do we have over here? Oh, I hope you didn't pee too much on this. All right. This is another one of our girls. Uh, silver. Merle, girl, you are female, right? Yes, you are. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so she is still unassigned, but again, I do have a reservation that is going to wait to pick their puppy, probably until next week when we can do uh, get baths and fluff up and um, get another video, okay? Here's our black and white boy that actually has phantom markings as well. Um, and actually, even though he's got white feet, I can see brown, come on, focus, brown at the base of his black markings to his feet. You see that? And he's got the phantom markings on above his eyes, the eyebrows. All right. Pleasant surprise in this litter. I didn't expect that. He was the first one I noticed. I did not know about my girl until just now. Oh, I don't want to miss anybody. Come on, there's 13 puppies in here. I know there's another black and white uh, tuxedo. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, this is a girl. And because she's our aqua colored, their collars are very dirty too. Aqua color, solid faces. We have solid faces in just about everybody except for my girl that I'm keeping here, as well as. Um, our special adoption boy, I believe, has white on his face. Yes. Here. Come on. There he is. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's doing quite well. All right. And let's see. We did our dark pink, which is our brown. Here's our light pink black and white tuxedo girl who is available. 
Let's see your chin. All right, and let's see. There's our brown boy. That's Julie's boy right there. And that's my girl <laughs> doing dances. Um, their poop has been so solid <laughs> that I think sometimes it, uh, I haven't found any stuck on them, but their poop has been so good. See, I know, kind of a little bit graphic, but guys, I just like you to see. They've been dewormed twice. We'll be dewormed more, a couple more times, of course, before they go home. But uh, they've been really, really good. So I'll show you a little bit from up above. I know I've missed somebody. There's our light blue. Oh, I like him. Come here. Our light blue black boy, black tuxedo, and he's got a little white star there on his rump, on his thigh, on his hip. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this was the guy that I would think I was telling you is, um, I forgot to identify him, but he's the one that's phantom marks. Okay, there's our brown tuxedo boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Prices are on their page. I believe that's my girl and here's our little fat belly girl hi beauty look at that face i don't see any blue eyes right now it's way way too early and i don't think that i don't expect them let's just put it that way i don't look for them uh until i see them obvious and it's usually five six weeks or so before they are obvious sometimes what appears to be a dark blue will actually turn uh, to a non-blue. There's a boy. There's a little brown merle boy. Okay. You guys are getting tired because you got your bellies full. They're still fairly young, except my girl right there. She's pretty fired up. I don't see in the close-ups phantom markings on anybody else right now, but then again, who knows what we'll see after we get their faces washed. All this dirt off of here. Oh. But they're not, I mean, they're not really bright, bright. You might have, a, no, it's too dark of a blue, but it's possible. It's possible. Anything's possible. Yeah. Okay, and this is a female. Oh, yeah, this is the one that I actually almost kept because she has a little bit of a spot back here. But I just fell in love with the face of the one that I just discovered has phantom markings on her face. But at the time, I didn't see them, so I'll repeat myself. All right, so this is a beautiful silver merle girl. Can't wait till they I can get to where I can shave their faces off and you can get more of that poodle appearance. Oh, what's really awesome about this one here, um, and this is a female, okay, female front phantom. I mean, female merle, excuse me. I love the stripe on her tail. I remember seeing that when she was born and it was just so cool. And they do have natural tails and dew claws. Uh, for one, if you look at the beautiful white tips on their tails, why would I have wanted to cut that off? That's why we decided to, over 10 years ago not to crop the tails on our sheep doodles And um, because they have these, oh, look, you got a little white mark there. Yep, you do. This is my girl again. Boy, I'm starting to love you more and more. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, there's our boy that has phantom markings, the black boy. This is the boy that I'd keep if he was a girl. Yeah, he'd be mine. I'd be keeping three out of this litter. All right. So, and again, here's the girl that I almost kept and decided on my, the other girl instead. Okay. Not for anything other than the fact that I loved the uniqueness at the time of her face. Okay. Here's our light pink black tuxedo and our aqua black tuxedo oh. with 13 puppies I feel like I've forgotten somebody who's this come here you don't have a collar on oh this is one and she's got a white white mark on top of her head okay come on camera um and she is a silver merle tuxedo Definitely the girls won out on this, on the Merles in here. So, who are you? Hmm? Are you my girl? Yeah, you are my girl, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, I gotta come up with names for you guys. 
All right, well, I, de <laughs> I definitely made a long video on this one. And again, I apologize, they're so filthy, but we will hopefully uh, get that taken care of. Um, I gotta get myself finished with the other chores because I need to take Grant to my vet for a thorough look over. He was supposed to go in a month ago, or a couple weeks ago, but we had to replace his appointment. Actually, I think it was three or four weeks ago it was his original appointment. It might've been a month ago. But anyway, we had a small emergency that we had to tend to with one of our other dogs. So we took the spot there. So now Grant's finally going in to see his vet this week. All right. Yep. We do have uh, Junsol Diagnostics DNA on both parents. So once again, this is Grant and Bernie's. I don't I say once again, but I don't think I told you that in the first place. Uh, purebred standard poodles. And we thank you very much for viewing our puppies and may God bless you.